Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your daily advice reading for February 29th, 2016. Thank you for being here with me. Um, so remember we are looking at the overall energies that we're dealing with on February 29th and what we need to be aware of or what we need to know um, that will, will help us use this energy um, for our highest good. Okay, so make the best of the energy. Um, so, um, first card we have, we have the King of Cups, and this is the influence of the past that are s that is still um, affecti affecting our present, okay, so something that we have carried with us from our past, a way of thinking, a way of feeling in this particular case, um, that is affecting our present situation, okay, so the King of Cups is... Um, since we're looking at, at, in terms of energy, the King of Cups is someone who has his uh, feelings under control. He's very intuitive. Okay, he um, feels things. Okay, he senses things. Um, but at the same time, he is in control of his emotions and in control of his feelings. He's very wise and very kind. But at the same time, these... Um, strengths he has can also turn to weaknesses because he also fear, uh, feels fear um, potentially stronger than uh, most people okay because he often senses other people's fears as well as his, as his own okay because he's very intuitive and very empathic so this is telling me that perhaps you have had to stand your ground um, even if it is with yourself, just telling yourself, this is going to work out, this is going to be fine. So trying to uh, calm yourself down, trying to reassure yourself. Okay, keep your emotions under control. Try to be logical, try to be um, rational, as opposed to um, being overwhelmed by your emotions. Okay, so this is really telling me that you have you have tried very hard to keep your emotions under control. And more importantly, um, to remain positive when dealing with other people's fears when it comes to you, your situation, or just their situation in general, and being around fearful people or people who are going through difficulties. And it's like you're picking up, you were picking up on that energy and carrying it with you. Okay, so with this being a king, it's telling me that you have tried to master your emotions, basically, okay? Control them, use them in a positive way, okay? Use your intuition, use your empathy and compassion while not allowing it to get the best of you in terms of um, coming at you as fear or stress or anxiety or doubt, okay? Second card we have, we have the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands is a really good card. The Three of Wands is telling you that your ships are coming in. You have made a decision in the past, and for me, it has to do with this decision about controlling your emotions and believing in yourself more and being more rational, more driven, more like um, a fire energy, okay? Um, or an air energy where you, were m you try to be more rational. Um, or, you know, pentacle energy where you've tried to be more practical, more, um, you know, based in reality, if you will. And so with the Three of Wands, this is telling me that that attitude um, is starting to pay off. So you should start to see some results of that during this day. Um, so whatever situation of life this applies to you, with this being very general, it will be different things for different people. But it really feels like you have tried to take more rational approach logical or practical approach to something and it's starting to pay off for you so if you've been trying to be more communicative in your job for example um, and you try to you know not take things so personally or not let other people's words and attitudes affect you so much and you've really been trying to you know stand on your own two feet and be clear about what you do and what you deserve in return it's starting to pay off for you, okay? This is moving things to the next level, okay? So the next natural level, whatever your... You'll know where your situation is at the present. So this is moving things 
to the next um, natural level of that situation. If, for example, you've been trying to take a more practical approach when it comes to your work, um, if you have been someone who's really been trying to be there for everyone else and be there to help everyone else and support everyone else, and so um, that ended up affecting your work because you were so invested in everyone else's work that you kind of, your work went on the back burner, and so you decided you're going to put an end to that and you'll be, you'll be a bit more practical, like a king of pentacles, for example, and really focus on your work and the task at hand and seeing the bigger picture, okay? Then that is what is paying off for you now, okay? You're getting credit, you're getting recognition, you're getting rewards for that. So this should be a really good day for you, a day where you should see the initial results of this decision that you made a while ago. And it was difficult for you to make this decision because you are naturally the person who's there for everyone and you care for everyone and you want to make sure everyone is happy and but I really feel like it pushed you to an extreme where you were taking more care of everyone else than you were of yourself and you've come to the realization where um, that needs to stop there needs to be a balance okay I'm important too I need to take care of myself if I am going to properly be able to take care of anyone else. Okay, so I really feel like that's the kind of decision that was made by you. And so that is why you have this three, three of wands energy where you see your ships coming in. Okay, the initial results of that decision, the initial fruits of your labor. labor. Okay, now, and then we have, the last card we have is the Nine of Swords. So this is doubt. This is unfounded fears and doubts, okay? Um, and if you see on the blanket, we have scales and hearts next to each other, okay? So that talks about um, fears that root from an imbalance between your heart and your mind. So I really feel like you're really, even though you made this decision and you understand on a, on a logical, rational level that was the best decision you could have made, your heart, because you're so compassionate and caring and empathic, still has doubts that maybe you could do more for someone while at the same time you know taking care of yourself or maybe you could do more for people without that meaning you give away from yourself um so with this being the nine of wands it's really telling you you're not doing anything wrong you are worrying um over nothing okay the people who care about you are just as happy that you made this decision because they understand that you need to take care of yourself as well they still appreciate you they still care for you very much and you're still the person who they're going to turn to when they need help you have just given them a chance to stand on their own two feet and they also appreciate that as well so there's no reason for you to sit, uh, sit up at night and wonder if you've made the right decision if you did the right thing okay in choosing this balance and the advice card we have we have 93 happy ending okay and so 9 plus 3 is a 12, and that's a 3. And to me, that talks about the same energy of the 3 of, of Wands. And you see both cards have yellow on them, this beautiful, fiery energy, you know, of joy and prosperity. And so with the happy ending card, it's telling you that a beautiful happy ending is just around the corner for you, okay? And by drawing this card, by having this card in your reading, it's really telling you that you need to remain positive, okay? You need to focus on what is coming in you need to focus on the outcome you desire okay and experience that outcome as if ha it has already happened and that's going to draw it in a lot quicker okay if you allow your doubts to get the best of, best of you and your your stress and anxiety then that is going to be what you are attracting and it will delay this happy ending coming in for you okay so whatever situation you have been working towards, whatever situation you feel you have to, you, ha you have had to make sacrifices for, either on an internal level with this change of attitude, okay, with this uh, trying to restore balance and trying to be there for yourself just as much as you're there for someone else, um, this situation is going to finally pay off for you, okay, you're going to start to see results of that work because it is work sacrifice is not easy okay and you're really going to start to see the results of that okay and 
you are moving ever closer to this happy ending to the conclusion of that situation so whatever you've been working hard towards whether that is a promotion any kind of advancement moving to a new location changing you know um, your job or moving to a new home or attracting that relationship a lot quicker because if you're focused on everyone else how are you going to meet someone that you know um, you can actually get to know because you'll always be you know running around trying to help everyone else not sitting still enough to get to know that person so whatever situation you've been trying to manifest it is coming in for you okay with the happy ending card it's telling you that um, for some of you you're going to see that um, tomorrow or you're going to see hints of that happening okay you're going to see signs that that is what is coming in for you um, you're almost there okay it's important that you remain positive and you believe in yourself okay and stand by your decision because it is the right decision for you and everyone else okay um, and just focus on the happy ending if you see the way I'm seeing these cards you see the three of wands is looking at the happy ending card when I put the cards down like that okay so that is what you need to focus on focus on your happy ending because if you are happy and secure then you will be free to help everyone else that you want to help okay you will be free to uh, focus on anyone else you want to focus on if you um, need to take care of yourself as well focusing on someone else is not going to be helpful it's, it's not going to last for very long because your situation is going to start to go downhill and so you won't even be able to help that person okay I always say uh, to my mom um, you need to look after yourself first because otherwise you won't be able to look after us your kids or anyone else um, because she always gives and gives and gives and whatever she's asked to do by her family she does it no questions asked um, and so she can really work herself um, you know sick because she's always in a million directions doing things for everyone else and so I told her mom that can't go on because you're gonna lose your health and then how are you gonna take care of us okay then how are we going to be happy if you're not healthy okay so it's that kind of situation that is coming across for some of you okay but just know that this happy ending is coming in. You're going to start to see the initial results, the initial indications that this happy ending is coming in. And you need to stick with that. Focus on the happy ending. And don't doubt yourself, okay? You are on the right path, definitely. Okay, so this is the message that is coming through for February 29th, 2016. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the reading. I hope you find guidance in it, some kind of insight, some kind of message to resonate with you in your situation. If you do, please let me know. Please leave a comment. And please um, also like and share my videos if you find them helpful and insightful. Okay, and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, thank you very much to um, all of my subscribers for your continued support and um, welcome to any new subscribers. Um, and welcome to the team, okay? I hope you enjoy the work that um, is done on this channel. Um, so yeah, let me know how your day goes. I hope it's a beautiful one, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.